All right, Cameron and I are about to head to the U. Um, his mom is doing a conference over there and we're about to go shoot for it for a little bit. Snapchat's been taking a back seat. I apologize to all my friends out there who watch my snaps to see what my day looks like. Check out my vlogs. They're like my snaps, but longer. Change of plans, back in the studio. Got a call from a client. They need something done ASAP, so. Sorry, Cameron, can't help you out today. Kinda sorry about the fact that I can't get that free lunch either. Oh well, back at it. All right. Been playing phone tag with Kendrick all day. Sorry, Kendrick. Hopefully, we can get you on the line right now. Hello? Zama? Phone tag is over. Yes. <laughs> phone tag's done. Man, sorry about that. So, come on, man. It's been a while since people seen you, Johnny. <laughs> Start with me, man. <laughs> that was literally. In the middle of bagging. Yeah, and I'm like, um, our food is just sitting there, ready to go. This is crazy. So I finally tapped someone like, um, can you just hand me my food so I can go? All right, heading out of Truth Academy now, heading to the bank. I wonder if they'll let me bring this camera in there, or what kind of looks I'll get there. I haven't been to a bank yet with uh, this camera. Let's see. Alright. Heading out of the studio now. About to head home. Traffic actually does not look bad. But I'll probably still take the back roads. Just in case I run into more traffic later on. Alright. Show me how you cook the rice. Bad again. Is it really? Yeah. Well, let's bring some hail this time, huh? Right. I mean, shit. <laughs> Why you gotta mess with me and just you know, rain someone like did scratch my uh, window, so I could use a uh, oh, I could yeah? use some hail. Yeah, me too. <laughs> For sure. So these are gonna fall. Yeah, gonna yeah put on there. top. Oh yeah, that's right. right. right here. <laughs> They're not gonna be forgotten there. <laughs> How many do you go through a summer? Uh, you know what? I've had those for like three years. Oh, well, eight impressive. bucks. That, I can't spend more than 10. I can't. I have a pair of Maui gyms that were like way more than they should have been. Mm -hmm. I don't even wear them because I don't want to. You don't want to. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's stupid. Oh, it's me up the fine. is the connection. Okay, now hit the button. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh, stop. That has to be sideways. All right, so. Because when you pull it, it releases. Yeah. And so it has to, uh, in order okay. to engage, it has, it has to be to off to the side. Up. So if you now go back down. Okay. And it should catch. Bingo. That's all 
last night I had a hard time finishing the vlog. You know, going on Facebook and seeing the video that I'm pretty sure most of you have seen by now. Kind of just takes a lot out of you. Because that could have easily been me. Now people say, oh no, you don't talk like that. You live in the suburbs. You drive a nice car. But no, that people, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You don't understand how it feels to not even be able to go for a walk around your neighborhood because I live in a nice suburban area. You can't go on a walk and feel comfortable. I can't jog and feel comfortable without feeling like I'm being profiled for whatever reason, but we know the reason. You can't clean your garage in the middle of the night. You can't wear sweats while just out in public. You can't be as tall as I am and as big as I am without intimidating some stranger. This is the world that I live in. Doesn't matter how I talk, doesn't matter how I dress, doesn't matter what kind of car I drive or however much money I make. It still happens. So yes, that could have happened to me. And just as I thought, all right, I'm ready to start recording something again. Made the mistake of going back to Facebook to see a lady in St. Paul on Facebook Live where her boyfriend had just been shot. Now yes, he had a gun. But well, he also had a permit to carry. So, are these permits to carry for us, too, or not? If you tell the officer that you have it and that you're reaching for your wallet, like, how could he have done that differently? I've been playing a, different, a lot of different scenarios through my head of how he could have come out of that alive. And I, honestly, I don't know. I don't know. So sorry to end on such a somber note, but that's the way I'm feeling today.